mentions Torah code and my company name, Pinlight, uh, Ledgerson wanted to explain and what this table And also it's interesting means. that this table, you can see in red, Torah code. And what is interesting is that you have Pinlight, the right way, with the this smallest skip, which is uh, it's very, very significant. Well, what he means by that, the small skip, it's like we're talking about, again, like we do in the film, equidistant letter sequencing, which is skipping letters to find other words in the Torah, and in the word Pinlight, what was the skip? It is four. Four letters. The only four letters. So you wouldn't even need a computer yeah, if you knew where to look to yeah, find the letters, name Pinlight. Yeah, I it's very... Now, what is interesting... That under under pin light you have a small skip of this seal, five seven seven six. Yeah, that's the Hebrew yeah. calendar word yeah. for 2016. So this clearly shows that pin light is a very important uh, task destiny of this seal to bring all more to across. Now really you have here you can see on the right five seven seven five Tavshin and Hey, which really we did the previous. Uh, it's when the phone came yeah, out. Yeah, right, right. Now also what we have here on the same line of pin light, you have ephod and ephod, as we showed already in one of the watchers. Yes. That ephod are connected with records. And, and ephod's kind of interesting because it was a device that the high priest wore that lit up when you asked it questions. Exactly. So we're kind of postulating, could the Torah code be the modern ephod? We've exactly. mentioned that before, even in Watchers we mentioned yeah, that. The watchers, right, right. But um, in this case, it is very interesting. Maybe the ephod was a device that had some kind of technology that we don't understand no, today. Really, it was a divine thing. Now also what is important is that we have like a sentence, the purpose of pin lights, the purpose of Torah code, is to show to the world the deeds of God, because the Torah was a blueprint of creation, which means that everything which is in the Torah, it was planned, and really without deeds, and uh, free choice. But when we behave in different ways, we have different tables. I mean, this is the idea of yeah. the thoughts, which were only the written Torah, not in the Bible, not yeah. in the... You know, this is amazing to me. It's uh, uh, very humbling and exciting to think that we'd have anything to do with showing the world the deeds of God. But I mean, if that's what we're supposed to do, it's it's a great thing. But you've also done a couple other really interesting tables. Right. Yeah.